Welcome back to my Let's Play of Orbiter. Um, last we left off, we were in, or we had just attained an orbit around the Earth um, in the Shuttle A. So, now I will do, not celestial bodies, I want Mir. Um, now we will try to dock with Mir to refuel. I don't even know if this has a refueling thing. It's not a switch like in the um, Delta Glider. Hey, there's the moon. Um, so that should be fun. Yeah, you can see our um, periapsis is going down. Yep. Um, we are still very much inside the atmosphere apparently. Anyway, I want antinode, which is orbit antinormal. Yay! How much fuel are we using? Goodness, we're using a lot of fuel very quickly. Yeesh! I hope it's enough. It is not going to be enough. I can already tell. Goodness gracious me. Uh, it might be enough. Okay, that's good. Hey, and we raised our apoapsis, so that's good. Sync orbit. Target. Mirror. No intersection. But if we wait long enough, we will actually catch up with them. But I don't want to wait long enough, because 111.2 kilometers is not very high. So I'm at least going to um, increase our apoapsis until... <clears throat> We're at about 150 kilometers. Oh, goodness. That's more than 150 kilometers. Okay. Forgot about that. Just gonna make sure we're not gonna get too damaged by this uh, periapsis, and we're not. Okay. Um, in fact, I'm going to quickly do this. Sure, dock one is fine. Send that to the HUD. Go back here. It's like the. Uh, um, like a clock whenever someone's trying to show that time is passing and want to show the clock spinning round and round and round um anyway just waiting for this to go down Okay. Docking 174 kilometers. That is 
not uh, a lot. They're not low. <laughs> and you notice when I null uh, relative velocity with mirror, um, my orbit collapses inward. In fact, we're not even in an orbit anymore. Um, because since it's higher up, it doesn't need to orbit as fast. And so when we try to match our speed, it means that we're going to fall out of orbit. So one of the ways we fix this is to at least raise our... Um, Uh, raise our apoapsis, raise our orbit, until we obviously try to match with mirror. Um, let's see what that does. How much fuel do we have left? Not enough. I want you to be docking, actually, because then I can measure how far... Um, so the CVEL thing is your velocity in relation to like closing it on distance. So this is your absolute velocity um, difference, and this is whether we're moving towards or away from it. So currently we're moving towards it at about 40 meters per, se per second. But as you can see here, uh, we don't have... Uh, we're not even going to reach their altitude, so we're obviously going to drop away and start moving away from him eventually sorry I'm not very wordy this episode I just don't have much to talk about that is very worrisome kinda wish there was a crossfeed in uh... To take RCS fuel and put it into the um, fuel tanks like in the Delta Glider, but there's not. Um, interestingly, I think we do have a 3D cockpit for this. Yes, we do. So here's the cargo stuff, and here's all the information. Um, same setup as the 2D cockpit, just much blockier and kind of cool, because you can look at the top window and the side windows, but I like the 2D cockpit. <sighs> Sorry again for not being so interesting. Um, if you do have suggestions on what I could be doing in these videos, um, do tell in the comments or something. Goodness gracious. I'm probably doing this a terrible way. a very inefficient way of uh, docking. Um, so I'm actually going to null velocity and attempt to use the uh, RCS. I wonder if you can use the RCS at this point. thirty kilometers away and we have more RCS fuel than we have normal fuel so there's no harm in trying I'll just have to uh, time compress I want to move forward. There's no... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a forward. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this isn't working. <laughs> uh. 
So like I said, I've never done this before. We learn together. Oh, there we go. So now I think our orbits are close enough that um, that my RCS systems dang it, I keep doing that. RCS, by the way, stands for Reaction Control System. So when I say RCS system, I'm saying Reaction Control System System. Doesn't make sense. I try not to do it, but it's just so awkward to say RCS or um, ECLSS without the system thing. Um, so anyway, our RCS has enough of an effect on our um, on our orbital path that I'm going to be able to do this using just RCS, which is good, which means we do in fact have enough fuel. We have plenty of fuel. If I can stop myself in time, just in case. Retro. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm going to be able to stop myself in time. Um, I'm going to open up the dock, and I think that's the airlock, so let's open the inner door. Nah, let's not do that yet. Come on. Doobie doo. Rotation. Hmm. Someone is here. No one should be here. Translation. I don't know if you can see me right there. I'm silhouetted against the cities. But sorry that this is going to be happening at night time. In fact, I could probably switch over this over to the map to see that we are almost in the daytime. Oh goodness, I'm coming in from the wrong angle. But there we go, there's daytime, so we'll be able to dock um, in daylight, which is good for you guys because you can't see anything when it's nighttime. And there we go. Dawn. Okay. Uh, I might have to uh, go to mirror. Yeah, null it. Close. Just in case. So now we find out if um, we have a refueling mechanism. And if not, I'll show you how to cheat. Um, one moment. to say hi to the person that just showed up. So I will actually see if I can, can't can pause this recording. Okay, I think that worked. I'm going back to Orbiter. Um, if I can, let's see what this, no, not help. I didn't want help. I never want help. Okay, that's false. Come on. Brilliant. There we go. Back to normal. Send this to the hut again. Oh, right. Rotation, I forgot to actually pause Orbiter to do that, so... 
that's great. Oh well. I nulled its angular velocity, so. Here is Mir. Um. I'm actually going to make sure that we have our docking port open. And we do. So hopefully this will work. Um. Let's line ourselves back up. Sorry about that, uh, break there. Faster! Let's do the very fast docking maneuver. No. Back over the other way. It just seems like we're a little bit to the left. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense if you remember from the three-dimensional cockpit, we were standing on the left side of the uh, cockpit. Or flight deck, or cabin or whatever you want to call it. So it makes sense that we're a little bit to the left. So we're docked. Come on. No refueling? None? Ah, okay. Well, here we are. We're kind of about the size of Mir, actually. <laughs> um, so, we're not refueling. I wonder if we undock. Let's dock again. Uh, maybe open the doors. The inner door apparently doesn't work. Come on. Yeah. Outer door doesn't work, or inner door doesn't work. So, that's not going to work. So, to simulate refueling, let's go to Scenario Editor. Um, our shuttle A. Let's edit it. And under Propellant. And let's fill. And fill RCS2. So, there we go. We have fuel again. Um, close. I'm not going to close that. Um, close the door. So there we go. We just refueled at Mir. Yay! And now we're heavy again. But we're in space and heavy. Which means that we can most likely actually do a lunar transfer. Um, TLI. Execute. Delta V. Execute. So there we go. I will continue this in the next video. So see you then.